Welcome to this weekend's project. This weekend? Yeah. Does it have four wheels? Our first nautical episode in the channel. Actually, uh, we're out. Uh, our boss from the company that I work for has invited us this Friday, today, out on a very nice boat trip. Much needed boat trip. So stay tuned. You're going to like this one. This is Parrot Key Caribbean Grill at Salty Sam's Marina before Hurricane Ian. This is the restaurant and marina now. In the parking lot, we must have had about 12 feet of water. And so everything on first floor was totally destroyed. So all our gift stores and restaurants and everything, they've lost all their inventory. It's hundreds of thousands of dollars that each business lost. Daryl Hansen has owned Salty Sam's for more than 20 years.
just like that, boat day is over. But we had an amazing time. Sorry for the repetitive kind of, you know, panoramic footages. Really, there was not much to film other than, you know, water and I had a really great time. And I can't thank my boss enough for allowing us to really enjoy our day. We had a very, very stressful season this year. Um, and, and everybody knows it. We all put forth maximum effort in that company and they know it. That's why I love working where I work. What a lot of you that are subscribed to my channel don't know is that I grew up in boats my entire life. Um, I am the son of a retired commercial fisherman. At the age of four, my father purchased his boat, his first boat for leisure. A 1974 Seabird, extremely tough boats. Company was discontinued in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s. Um, and I'm not sure what happened to the company after that, but the company definitely doesn't exist. Um, sold that boat and in 1991, he bought the floor sample in the Miami Beach Convention Center, the boat show. He bought a 1991 Cobia Caribbean, 22 foot boat. Cobia is manufactured by Robalo, Robalo, however you wanna call it. Uh, super awesome company. Uh, again, throughout my entire childhood, uh, I was raised on these boats. Halfway through that ownership of him having that boat, he decided to transition from pleasure to absolute 1000% making this his daily. He started fishing off that boat, eventually making it into a shrimp boat. Um, and that's what he did for a living. He sold that boat and then bought himself a 1990 Baja Cruiser, I think it was. Big, huge 28 foot, 29 foot boat. Um, at this time, kind of veered away from the boating and I got bought, I think this was my third jet ski by that time. Started jet skiing, I was young, doing my own thing. But I grew up in the ocean. I grew up from age four to age 26 or so every other weekend in the ocean. That's what I love to do. Grew up in Miami uh, and in the Florida Keys. So if you don't have a boat in one of those cities, uh, I don't know, it's like missing a leg. Anyway, uh, in 2012, I sold my jet ski. 2013, my dad sold his boat, retired. And that's the last time I ever got on a family boat. I've been on, you know, those nice little cruises uh, in Naples and other places, but it's not the same thing. Nevertheless, um, I needed this. I really, really needed this. Now, the only problem with that is I already told my wife, the itch is real. I don't know. I don't know. I'm itching. Maybe this will go and a boat can come in this place. I don't know. Uh, but the itch is real. Now I want a boat. I want a boat, but I don't want the responsibilities that come with it. You know, the greasing the axles, the maintenance on the engine, having to, uh, you know, do the impeller on the lower unit, change the grease on the lower unit, uh, keeping the vinyl from dry cracking in the sun, on the seats, and there's a lot that comes with it. And the reason I actually veered away from boating once I got a family is because a toy, aka for example my F-150, something I could use whenever the heck I want. Crank and go. Even if I use it to the store, I'm enjoying it. A boat. I've got to take it out to the ocean to enjoy it. So it's a little bit more strenuous. Uh, it's a task to get it to where you're going to go to enjoy it. Uh, and also the fuel consumption on boats is quite different. Okay, you're looking at an equivalent 
of what a car would do from four miles per gallon, maybe five miles per gallon. So it's expensive. It's expensive to maintain them. It's expensive to use them. So regardless, the itch is there. Uh, whether or not I'll buy one, I don't know. Stay tuned. That might just happen. As always, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you're notified when my next video comes out. Now, those inland showers that you guys saw in my video earlier, they're here. So I got to run before it starts raining. You don't believe me? Check it out. We got storms coming our way. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching.